ephendula kwingxoxo mpikiswano yango lesihlanu kulandela intetho yakhe yokuvula iparlamente omongameli Cyril Ramaphosa ufunge kuba uhulumende womanyano lesizwe uza kuphucula unikezelo lenkonzo yemzansi Afrika Ramaphosa uthi ulawulo lesiqhenqe lozibophelele ekuphucule noma sipala uqinisekisa ukuba abemi bafumana inkonzo ezingcono ezifana namanzi aqoqekileyo ukuntyulo izindlu nombani umongameli uthi ilizwe malingalibali umgama eselele uhambile phansi kolawulo lohulumende wentando yesininzi okanye idemokrasi watsho esithi umnyango kahulumende womanyano lesizwe usavuliwe ukunyusela ilizwe kwezinga eliphezulu kakumbi nakuku much of what has been said during this debate has confirmed that we have entered a new era in South African politics. It is an era of hope. It is an era of optimism for the people of our country and for its future. We must demonstrate in word and in deed that this is an era of a government of national unity and not a fleeting convenience. We have had and will continue to have points of divergence as the spirited nature of this debate has demonstrated. A key task for government over the next five years will be to ensure that everyone in South Africa has equal access to affordable quality health care through the implementation of the NHI. That is an important development we need to look at. We are unwavering in our commitment to implement universal health coverage in a manner that brings all South Africans on board. And yes, we will continue with dialogues, with exchanges, with interactions to make this an important program for our people. On inclusive and equitable quality education, we've made progress with respect to functional literacy and numeracy at primary school level and in primary school completion rates. More progress needs to be done so that our children can continue or accede to a higher level of being able to read for meaning. Today, more South African children have access to early childhood development.